Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Magical greetings from Disney's Epcot, and this is our POV of soaring around the world. So let's go soar and see what we can uh, go see. And it is beautiful. Just to uh, let you guys know, and this is one of my favorite rides. So uh, let's go on it. Alright, so the regular wait line for Soren is actually 20 minutes, but we do have the lightning lane. It is actually around 8.30 on Saturday, May uh, 20th, so uh, it's still a good crowd, but uh, just let you know what the wait time is. Foreign challenge. Welcome to Croatia. I don't know where that is. What does the common Croatian phrase store? What? I don't even know what that means. If you can go see it on the screen. Well, I'm going to go tell you about the history of Soren. So one of the Imagineers thought of this big idea to, cre to uh, go create a ride that is kind of like an erector set. And actually he did make it as a, some kind of like an um, erector set. And then uh, they actually made in this into a ride and stuff. So it's one of the best rides that I have been on and stuff at Disney. There is also another one in California, which is soaring around California, and now it's uh, they changed it up over there and stuff. So uh, this one is just around the world. Very beautiful in here. Very pretty. Love these blue lights. Very pretty. This is where the ride takes you. Eiffel Tower, Switzerland, Germany. Then we are going to Egypt with the pyramid. Wall of China. Monument Valley. And then. 
back in the car. Sydney. And of course, these little beauties. Next, fasten your seat belts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. That's worked out. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gates. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry-on item, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times. Have a nice flight. All right, guys, we are on uh, row one. That's our row.
on behalf of our entire flight crew, thanks for soaring with us. All right, guys, so we were on row one, and we were on the top right portion of the ride. So we were not, like, directly in the middle. But, um, well, that's why that the Eiffel Tower was, like, curving in some. But, uh, that's it. But, oh, those smells and stuff. Uh, the only two smells that I really recognize on the ride is the one that you are, um... I guess following the elephants in Africa and it smells like you are on like a like a grassy field or something like that it it smells like you are somewhere in animal kingdom and stuff on the safari probably and another one is at I can't uh pronounce it is it Fiji or Fiji or Fiji or Fiji. It's the one with um, you are like in the tropical islands and stuff, and and that does have like an ocean scent to it. It's like an ocean spray scent. I love that too. And to me, Soren is sort of like um, the Avatar. Um, the flight of passage, it's it's kind of like that and stuff. You are in this big giant screen, um, and just like you are like soaring and flying around and stuff. And it is a very breathtaking experience when you go on it and stuff for the first time. And all the times that I've been on it. It is, it, everybody claps. Well, not everybody, but uh, most people clap after the ride ends when you are going down. And uh, that, yeah, it's it's something that Epcot needed and stuff because it is so, um, it needed that and stuff, so. And, uh, let's see what else. And I don't know what that was before Soren opened. But, um, and like I said before, uh, Disneyland in California has Soren around California, which is, um, I think that one changes, like, like every, I don't know, I guess, couple times a year they change it up with a different um Soren I guess so Soren around the world oh yeah and um the overseas parks do have Soren too so I don't know which one started first but um so yeah it is a great Disney ride one of my favorite uh, rides at Epcot so and um I guess that's it so guys stay tuned because this weekend is going to be my birthday weekend so I'm going to be at Disney somewhere and uh go film some more stuff to uh go let you see what the Memorial Day will go take me so hi right, guys as Mickey Mouse will say, there he is. See you real soon. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.